The Tiedzen site for the interim John F. Kennedy High Campus is another step closer to being completed. Now that Governor Felix Camacho has signed off on the lease agreement, his legal counsel Ray Haddock says it will be passed on to the Attorney General's office to be signed and then passed back to the governor for a second and final signature. While Haddock mentions this is standard procedure, they will also be submitting a substitute legislation that gives tax credit to Cortec International to pay for the use of its teeds and site. What we're doing is we're getting the legislation that they desire to have passed and we're going to submit that for review and approval to the legislature. So this. So there is a substitute bill that's Yes, there, there's going to have to be a substitute bill that's submitted and, you know, we're looking at submitting that today. Earlier this morning, Cortec took Haddock Acting Governor and Speaker B.J. Cruz and the Guam Education Policy Board on a tour of the site where the interim JFK campus will be. Board Chair Joseph Augustine says he was impressed with how advanced the facility is, but overall he expresses concern with funding. The board's concern mainly is that the governor signed it, uh, the bill is at the Guam legislature to give the tax credit. The, we, they got to stop pointing fingers. If you're going to approve the bill, approve it. Let's move on and let's concentrate on the children, not the excuses of what is politically right. As officials sat down and discussed where they are at in the planning process, Cortex spokesman Josh Tenorio warns that under the terms of the contract, the legislature has until next Wednesday, June 17th, to pass a measure that will pay for the use of the site. And whether it is Speaker Judy Wampat's Bill 1 or the substitute measure by the governor, Cortec wants to make sure the agreement meets the needs of GPSS. You know, I know that uh, we've been working diligently trying to incorporate all the concerns and the technical issues uh, and recommendations of the Attorney General's office. The Governor's Council has been very uh, helpful with us on that. And um, so I think we're at the home stretch here. The legislature still needs to act uh, on Bill 1. In the end, Acting Governor B.J. Cruz says no time should be wasted on planning out what needs to be done with JFK High, and he wants everyone to be on the same page. We can't let two or three days slide because it'll be the 12th of August and then the 24th of August, and then it's going to be... It's going to, it, no, it's going to be September or October. We've got to meet now, and, and I, you need to call everybody and tell them to come because I, this discussion from Ray and saying that um, you guys weren't in this it really concerns me, and you guys need to get everybody from GPSS in here.